Hello and welcome to Selenium XPath tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about the XPath access methods. And the first access methods that we are going to discuss are the parent, child, and self. So before we get into the details of the XPath that you can find using the access methods, uh, let's understand what exactly is the access. So access represents a relationship to the context node or the current node. So for example, in the XML document or in your HTML DOM structure, you are referring to a particular node, right? Or a tag. Then when we use access method, it represents the relationship of the web element with that particular node or the tag. Now, it is used in locating nodes that are relative to that node. So for example, if you are uh, using, say, let's go back and see the example. So here uh, in this HTML structure, so for example, I am at the nav uh, tag, right? So when we say access, so access is basically, it finds the relationship or the relative uh, relationship with that particular node uh, and the other node. So for example, this node is the current node. What is the node that is next to this node? So like H1 is the sibling of this node or body is the parent of this uh, nav node, right? Body is also a parent of H1 tag. Similarly, if we talk about the XML, you will see currency is the parent node, then it has certain child nodes. And if we select the child node currency code, then uh, if by using access, we can figure out its parent, its child or the self, right? That we'll be going to discuss. Uh, there are many other methods that are supported, which we'll discuss in the further tutorial. So let me go back to the slide again. And here you can see that the format to find the X path using these access methods is almost similar except for the parent you are using the parent tag here for finding the child node you are having the child node and then for selecting the current node you use the self so to select a parent of the context or current node say for example you are at the current node which is uh, a tag with name uh, div then if you say parent of that div, so it will select the parent of that particular div. If you say child, then it will select the child of that particular div uh, element. And then if you want to just select the current node, you just say two forward slash, then self, two colons, and then the tag name of that particular element. In the child, it is the tag name of the child from that current node. So for example, the current node has 10 different uh, ch child nodes. Then you specify the tag name of the child nodes that are present below the current node. For the parent node, you just specify the parent tag name for the element that you are referring to or the context or the current node. So let's understand this with example rather than going through the slide. So let me open uh, the Chrome browser here. You can see that I have opened developer.salesforce.com. What I'll do here is I'll take the country web element and inspect it. So I'll just right click in the Chrome browser and click on inspect. It will open the web details or the page details for that particular web element. So you can see that this particular web element country is a drop down okay which has uh, which is a select field which has the attributes name id class on change etc right so these are all attributes then below this node you'll see if i uh, see expand this node you can see that there are a lot of child nodes so we'll take an example of this particular web element to understand the access methods right so I'll say command F or control F if you're on Windows. And then to start working with the access methods, I'll start with a forward slash. And because 
I'll start with this particular node, right, which is the select tag. Okay, so I'll select that I'll write the tag name. So I'll say select and you can see that all the select on the page are being selected, right? So this shows one of two. Now then square braces and I'll start with the name. So I'll select the tag which has the name user country okay so i'll simply put this into single quotes and now you can see that this particular web element is selected okay now with the access methods so there are methods for the parent for the child and self so if i want to select this web uh, web element right just the select then what i'll do is I'll simply say to forward slash, right? And self and then two colons and simply the tag name. So I'll again provide the tag name of this particular element. So here you can see that the same web element has been selected that we had selected just by using this particular XPath. So self does nothing, but it selects the same web element, okay? Now, if we want to select the parent, so this because this is the current node or the reference node, and if I want to select the parent, right? So what we need to do is we need to change the self to parent. So I'll just remove um, the details here. So I'll just say parent and then two colons. And now if you see the parent node for this particular node, right? So if I scroll up a little bit, you will see that this select uh, element is at the same level. This div is as, at the same level. This form is at the parent level. So what I can say is to select the parent of this particular web element, which is the select element with the name user country, I'll simply say the tag name, which is form. Okay. And now you can see that form is highlighted. It is one of one and unique and that will be selected. So that parent element will be selected. Now, if you want to identify the child in reference to this particular node, so select node, say I want to get the list of child elements that are below this particular node. I'll change this X path to child to colons and then the value or the tag name of the child, right? So as soon as I enter the tag name or specify the tag name for the child elements, because there are many child element with the tag option, it will give me a list of all the tag, all the child elements that are present below this node. If I want to choose a specific child element, I just need to provide the index of that particular child. So square braces and then the index. So index starts with one in this case, it will select the specific child. If I want to choose any other element, I'll choose the different index for that particular element. Now, why are these access methods very important? The reason is, say for example, you are trying to figure out any of the element in your uh, HTML DOM structure and you don't have the attribute. So for example, uh, usually you will be having the attribute which are unique or you can do the combination of the attribute to make sure that you are getting the, the unique web element on the page. But that is not true all the time. So you might be facing a situation wherein you don't have any unique attribute for that particular node, but you do have the unique attribute for the parent of that node or the child of that particular node. So for example, in here, I have the attribute value, which is unique for this second option, right? Option, which is value uh, AF, and then we have the value DZ, DZ and then AS. So we have these values, but say for example, for this select element, we don't have the name attribute or the ID or the class, etc. 
so in order to choose this particular web element the best way is to use the access uh, methods and what we can do is we can simply say uh, in reference to this particular element or tag i want the parent of that particular tag right so that's the whole purpose of using these access methods because it simplifies the the way or method to figure out the web element on the page that are not easily uh, that you won't be able to figure out easily because they have limited attribute or they don't have the uh, static attribute or unique attribute so in this case what i'll do is i'll show you how we can identify this select element with the child element using the access method so to start with i'll just specify the tag name right option and then i'll say the attribute value is equal to i'll say af right and here you can see it has selected that particular child node now i want to select i want to uh, say, uh, go to the parent of this particular node so what i'll do is i'll use the access method to forward slash and i'll say parent two colons and provide the tag name of the parent and you can see that the parent has been highlighted so this is how you can utilize the access methods to figure out the x path for the web element which doesn't have any unique attributes so in this case even though the select element has the unique attributes there in case it didn't have these unique unique attributes you could still traverse to this particular select web element on the web page so this is an example just to show you how you can utilize the access methods and what is the power of access methods in reality um when you go to any of the project these are the uh, key things or the methods that will be really really handy and helpful to find the uh, x path for any web element on your web page so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching